a very important le lesson that Jedi Master Yoda and Luke Skywalker teaches in Star Wars is to just slow down the moment, bring yourself back to the present moment, and just connect with your breath. What a way to kick off Star Wars Celebration Weekend, though. Uh, what is your weekend looking like? Who and what are you most excited to see? Oh my gosh, my weekend at Star Wars Celebration is jam-packed and I cannot wait. Um, I'm gonna be doing a little bit of everything from hosting panels to um, to meetups. We have our Ahsoka Lives meetup, uh, to signing autographs, photo ops, doing special breakfasts. Um, but I'm most excited to just connect with Star Wars fans. I think after the past two years that we've had, um, we all need connection more than anything. And that's what I'm most looking forward to. If it were somebody's first time at Celebration, what advice would you give them on how to navigate the weekend? If you are attending Star Wars Celebration for the first time, I highly recommend checking out the Star Wars Celebration app because, you know, everything is either ticketed or scheduled. So you're definitely going to want to check out the schedule um, on the Star Wars Celebration app. But first and foremost, just immerse yourself in the community. You know, the best part about Star Wars Celebration is just Star Wars fans. So there's all sorts of Star Wars fan meetups. You know, we have an Ahsoka one on Saturday at 3 p.m. outside at the Star Wars Fountain. So um, if you're an Ahsoka fan, just come and meet fellow um, Ahsoka fans. And then also shop the exhibition floor. Her universe has a brand new uh, fashion collection inspired by the the Star Wars and Lucasfilm archives. So um, I'm very excited to debut that at Star Wars Celebration. So just immerse yourself in really just the fandom and the community at Star Wars Celebration. You go out on these stages all the time. This is kind of your world. What are your tips for not getting like anxious, nervous, stressed out? Actually, well, the biggest thing I do before I go on stage is I practice deep breathing. So um, I've always done that. I think subconsciously I started doing it as a kid. And then I, as I became an adult, I actually found out that that is a mindfulness practice is to connect with your breath. And also a very important le lesson that Jedi Master Yoda and Luke Skywalker teaches in Star Wars is to just slow down the moment, bring yourself back to the present moment and just connect with your breath. And so that's what I do. I practice deep breathing. Um, I also, I like do this with my fingers. I feel like it gets the blood pumping and, um, so I take some deep breaths and just really kind of pump my fingers. I'll like dance around in place and and just, you know, just kind of calm the nerves. Yeah, I try to tell myself I'm not nervous, I'm excited. And I feel like it kind of yeah. shifts your energy a little bit. Um, but for, for people interested more into what you're talking about, you're doing this really cool series called Star Wars Mindful Matters. So tell me more about this project and kind of how it came to be. So this is a passion project of mine that I have been dreaming about for the past five years. You know, Star Wars fans, especially kids, they always ask me, how they can be a Jedi or how they can be like a Jedi. And, you know, if you go to Disney World or Disneyland in the past, they would have the Jedi Training Academy, which, you know, is where you could train with your lightsaber. But Jedi Master Yoda teaches us that a Jedi must have the deepest commitment, the most serious mind, you know, telling us that training our mind is just as important as physically training our body. And there's so many important mindful lessons that we learn throughout Star Wars. So I wanted to take some of the most important mindful lessons, you know, for example, confronting fear or managing our emotions or grounding ourselves and feeling the force and combine those lessons with clinically based mindfulness exercises in very short two to three minute videos where, you know, teaching fans how to do these exercises and lessons. And, you know, that if you just do these, it only takes a minute. Um, they'll make a powerful difference in your day because being mindful matters. 
So they're these kind of little shorts. They're about like two minutes or so. And uh, where can you find them? So you can find them on StarWarsKids.com or the Star Wars Kids YouTube channel. But I want to stress that these are not just for kids. These are for Star Wars fans of all ages. We wanted to put them on the kids page and the kids channel so parents knew that these are safe for kids, that they're appropriate for kids and relatable to kids. But we know that being a Star Wars fan and these lessons are for everyone. Star Wars is for everyone. And, you know, these lessons are really timely and, and they're more important now than ever, especially after the two years that we've just been through. Oh yeah, I was watching them and I was like, yes, I need all of this, <laughs> all of these lessons. Um, so, you know, we love Ahsoka, you love Ahsoka. What is your favorite lesson that Ahsoka has taught you? Oh my goodness. My favorite lesson that Ahsoka has taught me is to be kind. You know, I would say Ahsoka gets her power um, and she's one of the most powerful characters in Star Wars, but she really gets her power by being kind. You know, growing up, I, I often looked at kindness as a weakness because people would say, oh, you're too kind. Um, so I thought, OK, I need to be tough. And that, you know, does not associate with being kind. Well, in fact, it's the opposite. You know, Ahsoka teaches us to help others no matter what. And she shows her power by being kind and helping others. And so to me, you know, I try, I strive to be a real life version of Ahsoka Tano and do things like this Star Wars Mindful Matter series. But every single day I, I ask myself, what would Ahsoka do? And, and the answer is always that she would be kind. You talk about, you know, the meetup on Saturday. I'm sure it gets bigger and bigger each and every celebration. What does it mean to just see how much people embrace her even more year after year after year. It's incredible. And this meetup was organized by the fans and it's still being organized by the fans, which is incredible. It started with Amy Ratcliffe and Jonah Murray Macias and they founded it um, several years ago. Um, and and I, I was tagged, you know, in the meetup this year. I mean, the, this year it was once again organized by the fans and I'm excited to attend. And it started as an Ahsoka Lives Day photo shoot. And really it was just because we were excited that Ahsoka lives, you know? But now I like to say that Ahsoka lives in all of us because we all take a piece of Ahsoka into our hearts, into our souls, and we take her with us throughout our everyday life. She guides us, she inspires us, she encourages us. So I'd like to update the name of this um, meetup to be an Ahsoka Lives in All of Us meetup um, because we really just, you know, she's a part of us now and she lives inside all of us. Oh my God, I love that. And just seeing her, you know, the character make the jump to live action, what does that mean to you? How did you react when you saw? Ahsoka's getting this whole live action series. I think it's absolutely incredible. I mean, you know, this character, I, I was honored to, you know, help originate this character back in 2008. And she was this snippy little character that, to be honest, a lot of fans did not like her. She was met with mixed reviews. So to be here in 2022, celebrating this character and her legacy continues and she's getting her own series. It's such an exciting time to be an Ahsoka Tano fan. So it's absolutely surreal. Um, I'm, I'm just honored to be a small part of a giant team of people that it takes to bring this character to life. And um, it's just surreal. And it's an exciting time to be an Ahsoka fan. Have you and Rosario met yet? Or do you think you might meet this weekend if she's there? Oh gosh, no, we haven't met yet. Um, and it's definitely a dream of mine. It's uh, so I've, I've been throwing that dream out into the universe and and I hope to one day um, to meet her because you know she's a very important member of Team Tano and uh, that's what I call it, Team Tano. That's what these shirts are designed by the amazing Daniel Kennedy. <laughs> <laughs> and so, um, I definitely hope uh, to one day meet her and, and hopefully maybe this weekend will be the day. Oh, that'd be amazing. I want to see you make the jump to live action though, because I was looking at the, um, when the High Republic covers were released, you look like one of the High Republic Jedi. Has anybody ever pointed this out to you? The fans have pointed this out and you know, I'll be honest, I read about how Rosario was fan cast as Ahsoka, how the fans started asking for her to play Ahsoka. 
I mean, if the fans want to ask for me to play this character, that would be incredible. I would be honored to make the jump to live action for the High Republic. So, hey, I mean, it worked for Ahsoka. Maybe we can, <laughs> it'll work for, for me to be in live action for the High Republic. Oh, I'm going to get it going. Everybody, Okay. Ashley looks like Avar Chris. Let's get it going. <laughs> I would love it. You heard it here first. And what is next for her universe? I know you 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 just dropped this new kind of line. Well, I'm thrilled to debut this uh, Lucasfilm Archives collection at Star Wars Celebration. So this was actually set to release had we had a, a celebration in 2020. And um, we got to go to the archives at Skywalker Ranch. We got permission from George Lucas himself via the amazing Lynn Hale. And we got to go to the archives. We got to see all of the original costumes from, you know, the original um, Star Wars series and then the prequels. And then we got to design wearable pieces inspired by the archives. And so these are not replicas, you know, as with her universe, we make um, fashion inspired pieces. So these are wearable pieces inspired by the exact costumes in the archives. And I cannot wait to launch this collection.